Ian, it's Ace you seen. I've been chasing sweet corn for a sweet corn. I've been chasing sweet corn. <laughs> oh dear me. It doesn't go very fast. Have you not caught it already? By the way, it was clear that to me that sweet. Oh, fuck off. What's going on everybody and welcome to episode 8 of the Heart Gold, Randomised Nose Lock and uh, we're heading up north now to Ecritique City I do believe. Uh, we got our encounters up here last time as well. So let's have a quick look at where we ended up team wise. We ended up with Glaze, our Glaceon. Looking beautiful, one of my favourites. Obviously, Mogger, the OG of this team, at level 22. Corsola, called Minty, that we got out of an egg. I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, Kenya, the Golem, at level 22, that we're not going to give back to the rightful owner, because we're thieves. And Dumbo, as well, the Fampy. 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 So, we're going to head north to Ecritique City, and I think last time I said there was a gym up there, but now I'm doubting myself. Let's see what we find on the way. And first, we're going to take on these twins. Alright, Tori, I'm bringing out my Pokemon. And it's Kim and Zoe. That's an interesting... Wow, that Igglybuff looks evil. Since when does Igglybuff have red eyes? Oh dear. And I've got Intimidate. Oh, that's going to slow us down so much, right. Icy Wind hits both of them, so we'll go with that. And from... Yeah, will Bubble Bean hit both as well? No. So we'll hit Weezing with that. I'll tell you what, while they're firing, I'll stick this microphone on just so I can hear myself. I'm not getting any feedback from that one. Microphone is on. Igglybuff is down. Hopefully, that'll be enough to get down that wheezing as well. Now, another turn. Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, I guess with the poison, though. Don't think you can die from poison outside of battle in this, so we're definitely going to beat it this turn. I think I've got an antidote anyway, so I'll probably just use it. For the safe option, safe precaution, I don't know. Some shit like that. You both lost. Thank you very much for your money. How have they just given me a grand? They're ch little children. Oh, hi, Arnie. Good evening, Saint. It's me, Arnie. Were you awake? I'm always with my nose pass. It's so cute, I just love it. I was wondering, do you happen to have Fampy? Yes, I do. I can't seem to catch one. What is its weakness, I wonder? Let's talk again, huh? Oh, I thought he was going to ask me if I wanted to trade my Fampy then. I was about to say, be well up for having a go at that, mate. Right, oh yeah, I've got the poison to cure. Putting me off, Arnie. And we've got... Yeah, I've got an antidote there. Good shot. And I think if we go split these down the middle, we can take them both on at the same time, I guess. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. I'm a cute little trainer, you're right. Hey there, hey young trainer, won't you battle with me? I sure will. More twins! Oh, another interesting combo. Uh, so, I mean, I have I have the... They're weak. One of each of them is weak to one of each of my Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. So Icy Wind will hit both, but it's really an card that I'm interested in. And then Bubble Beam to finish off Vulpix. So I reckon that's... Uh, I reckon that's going to be enough to finish it off. So you're not very effective. That's actually quite good against full pit. Speed down as well. Ninkard is going to go down in one. And then this bubble beam should should finish that Vulpix off. Making that a nice, quick, easy win. There we go. Who else have we got? Magikarp. I mean, that's, a, that's an easy win. 
and Cricketoon. Another bug type, I think, so we can ice the shit out of him. In fact, that icy wind will probably finish them both up, I would have thought, but... It'll definitely finish Cricketoon off, I think, because it's weak. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. Oh, it, well, there goes Magikarp as well. Oh, it's not weak. I thought bug, it's a bug type, and I thought bug was weak to ice. Oh, whatever. We're going down now anyway. Maybe it's got a second type that I don't know about. I don't want to ask Google again, because it uh, started talking to me about hemorrhoids last time, and I'm not interested in that. So, quick attack. We can get rid of helping hand. And we get quick attack. Beautiful. And there goes the two beauties. You're good. Wow, you're strong. Yes. Look at my muscles. And let's head north. That's the same route I've just been in. Uh, don't really care about getting them. Oh, so we're at Ecotic already. That's a shorter trip than I thought. So, there's the Pokemon Center. There's the Mart. Oh, if I've got a uh, fishing rod, I can get an encounter in this town, actually. I have. So there we go. Let's go get an no, let's go heal up and let's get an encounter in the water. And then work out where we're going next. Oh, there's someone in front of us in the queue for the first time in Pokemon history. Oh, it's Bill. Hmm, Saint, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon. Oh, aren't we a show off? But I couldn't have done it by me alone. Wait. For example, do you know the Hoenn girl? The Hoenn region? This girl Annette from Hoenn made the Pokemon story system easy to use. Da -da 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 -da. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod. Uh, bye bye So now... Bill has some... Mm. At some point in this game, you get a Pokemon from Bill, I'm sure. So I wonder if I go back now to Goldenrod, do I get something from him? We're going back there eventually anyway, because the story takes us back there, so we'll find out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so we know we've got that encounter to do while we're up here. No, I don't want. I don't know why I ended up on the pause menu there. No thanks. So let's go and have a look around town. Oh, there is a gym. Leader Morty, the Mystic Seer of the Future. So, f formerly a psychic trainer, I guess, in, but I changed it around in this game. You're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, that's an adventure without treasure hunting. Am I right or am I right? Yes. Good, you understand the true spirit. Take this with you. Dowsing machine. Many items. Oh. Okay. Heard the writings in the Extra Cheeks Burn Tower. I bet. So we've got a gym to go to. This is the dance studio with them girlies. But I feel like you don't get to them. Hey, hey. Stop dancing! Such a serious dance! Show me something like a hula dance! You mustn't push such a request on me! Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? It's not a strip club, mate. Well then, I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one! Wahahaha! <laughs> what is that dickhead doing? Let's go shut him up. Oi! You picking on these girls for? By the way, these... These, um... Exotic dancers, or whatever they're called, are supposed to be like crazy good Pokemon trainers. So which begs me the question, why didn't she just challenge into a battle instead of making me run in and save her? Maybe I'm just the misogynist and I jumped in before she could do anything. I'll protect the lady. It is my role as a man. Well, that was easy. Is that all he's got? Oh, Tristian, that was disappointing. Oh no, you made me look like a villain! Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over at the lowest Team Rocket Grunt. You should be the lowest Team Rocket Grunt, you shit. Let's talk to her. You must be Saint, correct? That indeed was excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon. That person does... That person does know what to look for in people. What? She's talking shit. Let's get out of here. Oh, this guy's got something for me. Wonderful, you're so courageous. Ray to light. Have this, don't be shy. HMO 3. Is that surf? Or fly? Surf. Awesome. Uh, I'm guessing I can't use it till I beat this gym. But I do have Pokemon that can learn it. And then I might be able to use it in the gym if it's useful. So that could be good. So 
Let's get that stuff done. Oh, the remix of this town's music, by the way, is absolutely awesome. So chill. Uh, let's give it to... Mogger, because it's a powerful water type move anyway, so... It's going to be useful in battle. Uh, and we'll just straight up get rid of Bubble Beam. Easy. And now, in fact, instead of using the rod, I can go and surf on that water and see what we get for that. Oh, it's like a little fountain. Oh no, I can't surf on the water. What am I saying? I've just said I can't use it until I battle the bloody gym. Well, I want my encounter now, so we're going to uh, chuck the old rod out there and see what we get. Something good. Or nothing at all. Alright, let's set it as the uh, Y button. Oh wait, two set? What does that mean? Oh, it means I can't press the Y button, but I can click here to use it. That's pretty, pretty awesome, I suppose. Well, maybe there's just nothing in there, I guess. It's, it's like real-life fishing. Spending hours just trying to find something. Oh, dear. One more go. Not even a nibble. Jeez. Barry Station to Bell Tower. I'm not going there. What else have we got? Nowhere else I want to visit, really, apart from this Burnt Tower. Which I'm definitely going to have to go to before I go to the gym. Because whenever you're in a town where there's something to look at, you have to do that before the gym. That's just the rules of Pokemon games. Raticate in the top corner. I see you. Oh, I see legendaries. <gasps> oh, well, this is an encounter, and I forgot you get one in here. It's Chatot! Flying type, so that's good, because I've I lost my other flying type, Russell Crow. Uh, right, so, quick attack shouldn't be enough to knock it out. Yeah, good. A couple more of them. Oh, seeing. Chatot, what are you doing to me? What were you thinking? Right. So let's get in Dumbo. Maybe able to do some damage. Uses thing again, but misses this time. Uh, so let's go for takedown. Murumu fails because I didn't go. I'll go for takedown. Ooh, that's a good move. And then we'll flail once as well, and I think that will be enough to catch it. Hopefully. Nice one. Let's find out, shall we? And just a normal ball. Oh shit, I'm a bit low on Pokeballs. Get to the mot. Oh, what? You're a chatter. How can you be hard to catch? You're a little shitty bird. Playing games with me, boy. Well, let's try a great ball then. Come on, chat out, stay in the ball. Yeah! Chat out. On my team! Dun, 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 and we have data. I always love data. It mimics the cries of other Pokemon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way, they won't attack it. Yeah, if they're blind. Give a nickname to chat out. Yes, because I have to. Uh. I'm going to call him... Shatot! Just Shat, actually. It's a good name. It's a good name, it's creative. Don't tell me otherwise, don't even at me. Right, so now I can chuck a... Repel down in here, because I don't need... Um, don't need another encounter in here. But we'll make it a super, because we're going to have some walking to do. And... Oh, who are you? We seen. My name is We seen. Or E seen. You seen. We seen. I don't know. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are... Saint. Glad to meet you. I heard some rumours that Suicune is here. So I came to look. Look at the basement. There is Suicune. 
I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away. I tried. I've tried so many times. Well, I'm going to go down anyway. I don't care about you. And this guy. My name is Morty. I'm a critique's gym leader. Because my old friend we seen, you seen, is here on the trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burn Tower. Ecritique has a legend about these legendary Pokemon. Suicune, Entei and Raikou. As the gym leader of Ecritique, I must have proper understanding of it. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! It's Bogger! It's you! You must be here to catch legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That's only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me, who are sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Oh, and here she is. Becca. Ready for the gym bat- Well, not a gym battle. We're not in a gym. Ready for the battle of a life. Oh, shit. I forgot I had a sleeping Pokemon. Bollocks. That's all right. You've got the advantage, Bogger, but I'm coming for you. I'm happy to wait this out. I'm thinking Caterpie's not going to do much. So I can just sit and wait this out. Not waste an item, healing myself back up. Oh, this is tough. We wake up, I see wind. There we go. Down in one, tell you. Not too difficult. There, there we go. Next we have Omanite. You are um, rock water, I think. So, really, probably just going to stick in. In all honesty. And we'll go for the quick attack, see how that does. Water gun, that's just going to tickle. More than my quick attack, though. Try Icy Wind. Leah's gonna lower defense. No, no, no. Icy Wind's gonna be good. I've got a good feeling about Icy Wind today. Oh, that's terrible. I don't really have anything better to hit you with, though, that's not weak, so I'm just gonna have to keep going for it. Ooh, critical's good. Down goes the speed, and now. Ah, Leah lowers my defense. Thinking a quick attack here is enough to finish you off. Thank you. Let's see what we've got next. Come on, Becky. Chim Show. That is a good Pokemon. It's a fire type. And we're going to switch in for Dumbo, who's a ground type and has a ground type move, I think, which will be super effective against it. Oh no, Chimcho's not fire. That's a different thing. Shit. Who the fuck am I thinking of? Oh well. Let's go for roll art. Confusion. Not not interested. So it's psychic type, I guess. Oh no, I've got stuck in the roll out and it's gonna annihilate me. Sorry, Dumbo. That is my bad. That was ridiculous planning from me. First, I thought you were going to be able to be super effective against it. Then it was the wrong Pokemon. Then I let you use Roll Out, even though you were going to get stuck in it and then get destroyed. <sighs> that was not good at all. Dreadful. Metal Claw. Growl lows my attack. There we go. Critical hit as well. One more of them. Lowers my attack, but I'm still going to kill it off. I'm confident of that. Uh, oh! My attack rises. That's useful. Why is it only growling me? I don't know, but it's down now, so it doesn't really matter. Perfect. And Mogger gets up to level 23. Well done. Last. Zetu, I think that was the starter. Right, Zeto is like what? Flying Psychic? Uh, let's go with Kenya. So it's a rock type. Or rock grounds. There's some rock in there. And it knows rollout, which is a rock type move. Man, do I want to get stuck in rollout again? Let's go for Ancient Power. Miracle Eye, don't know what that does. Identified me. 
to make critical hits more common. Identifying. Makes the, make sure the next move hits something like that. I don't know. You're not going easy, Becca. Why are you lying? Oh, Quick Claw comes in handy. And we get to go first. Ancient Power. Nice one. And uh, Zeta is down. Boosted XP. Go on, level up. Ah, oh, it was close. That was... I'm going to be honest, Becca. That was dreadful. You just got just smashed by me and Mogger. You'd never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. I'm going to prove you wrong, Sunshine. And now he's going to go, Oh, you battle so good. I'll be in the gym waiting for you. No, he's not. Oh, fucker. So I guess I am going down to those... Um... Pokemons. Can I go around? Because there's some items around here that I'd like. I don't really want to battle you, though. Oh, to go around there and get them items, I'm going to have to battle these guys. Or oh, can I go around? No. Shit. I want the items because they could be good, but... Who can be bothered with uh, battling? Also, these fire breathers are called fire breathers, but they're not going to have fire type Pokemon. Which means you're a fraud! In fact, you've got Lady Ball, which would get absolutely burnt to crisp by a fire type Pokemon. And it's going to get Icy Wind. There it is. Too bad, y'all. Next we have Waylord. Wow. Um, I mean, what do you do with that, really? Lots of HP, not a not a very high level though, and it probably knows. Uh, I mean, let's try metal claw. Probably knows something devastating, but yeah, just like growl, devastating. Although that loud does lower my attack, so he's gonna make it harder for me to beat this thing. It's all good. Keep keep grinding, and it goes for water gun. You can stick with that all day, well, Lord. No problem with that. Maybe Ice Beam would actually be better than Metal Claw. Ah, now Roll Art. That's interesting, because that gets more powerful every turn, so... What what could happen here is that Roll Art could get powerful enough... Oh dear. ...that it could kill one of my Pokémon in one go. I don't want to switch it out in time. Maybe I'll... Maybe I can... Oh! See, there's the problem with that. Shit a brick. Right. Kenya's rock type. So, roll out will not be very effective. And it's got a high defense anyway. And it misses, so that's good. So I've not even got to take that risk. We'll go with a magnitude. I didn't really want to put Kenya out there because of the water type disadvantage, but that's worked out pretty well, so it's not too bad. Good XP for that. And next we get Do Gong 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 Gong. Uh, I'm going to stay in. Oh, that might be a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway and see what happens. It's not going to finish me in one go, no matter what it does. I don't, I don't believe that. Quick Claw lets us go first. Magnitude only gets four, which is not great. Okay, right. I need to change. Single Beam's a bug type move. Interesting. Let's try Ancient Power. Quick Claw works again. And there's Ancient Power. It's a strong one. And it's super effective. Single Beam again. Why has he, got, why has he using Single Beam? It's weird. Ice Shard. Here we go. This is where I'm getting worried. Oh, super effective. It's 4 HP damage. No one's worried about you, Dugong. You're not scaring anybody, my friend. And we get another level on Kenya as well. And Fibery the Christine is dead. She's not dead. I mean, I've not killed her. Yeah, Ian, you can uh, get lost, mate. How do you just put the phone down on these people? Just look in my bag. There we go. And we have a power belt, which sounds like something you probably give to Machoke. 
if I'm honest. This doesn't fill me with hope that that's anything useful. Promotes defence gain on levelling, but reduces the speed. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Uh, I might change... No, because what Kenya's got at the minute is actually working out pretty well. Sharp beak, though. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted sharp beak, which is good for flying-type moves. So let's give that to Chat, who will have a flying-type move eventually, even if it's not already. Uh, anything else that looks... Remotely useful. We'll hold off for a bit. Right, next battle. Let's just quickly heal up first because I'm pretty sure. Oh shit, I'm low on potions as well. Definitely need to get to the mark. Get Mogger healed up. I may need her. And we'll go straight in with uh, Glaceon. I'm practicing my fire breathing in the burnt tower. Don't try this at home. Thanks, fire breathing man. Fire breather Esteban! Alteria, oh shit. Wait, is, is. You're part dragon type. And I've got icy wind. That means I win. Easy. Cloud for wings. The best insult I've ever given anybody. Cloud for wings. Esteban, 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 Esteban. I feel like there's a hidden item there. No, I feel like there's a hidden item there. Or there, or there, or here, or there, or there, or here, or there. There's no hidden items, is there? Oh, all that time walking around here and you've got a bloody rock smash to get past there. Oh, that's frustrating. Damn it. Well, now I'm determined that there must be something to find around here because I've walked all the way around here. I don't want to leave with nothing. Oh well. Looks like I'm leaving with nothing. Right, let's go down. There goes my rappel. It's all right. Not that far to go now. Get down these steps. Go and say hello to these Pokemons. Suiku! Entei! The other one! I can't remember what the other one's called. Raikou! Got it. And there's Isuin. Is Isu Isuin. Did you see it? Suicune raced like a blur right in front of my eyes. I have been chasing sweet corn for a sweet corn. I have been chasing sweet corn. <laughs> oh dear me! It doesn't go very fast. Have you not caught it already? By the way, it was clear that to me that sweet. Oh fuck off! <laughs> sweet corn. Suicune took notice of your presence. Equitique's legendary Pokemon us. Oh god, I can't keep saying this because I'm just going to keep saying Suicorn. Right. There are hidden items down here, I know that. Maybe some non-hidden items as well. And a Pokemon. That isn't a legal encounter, so I can't catch it. Pineco, though, that would have been pretty cool. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure, like, pretty sure there's hidden items knocking around somewhere. That guy said there was, but I, I hate using that stupid, you know where hidden items are going to be, they're going to be in a little corner somewhere, you don't need to use them, little flipping, um, there we go, Draco plate, perfect. You don't need to use them little, um, Oh, the dowsing machine that he gives you. It's absolutely pointless. Just keep checking all the rocks. Keep checking in between rocks. Right. All that kind of shit. You're going to find something. Right. Can I get round there? Not without strength. So I can't get that item. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Alright. Let's get out of here. This is boring now. I'm not finding anything. Right, so I, I'm... Oh my god! You're kidding me! Oh, God's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, the it's a pseudo-legendary. Not quite legendary, Mesprit. A pseudo-legendary. Ah, I am running away. One of the guardians of the lake in uh, Diamond and Pearl and uh, Platinum. 
fuck's sake. Or is it in black and... Or is it in black? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it is. I think it's from Diamond and Pearl. I'm not good on my Gen 4 and 5, to be quite honest. Right, well, let's just get out of here anyway. And get down to the gym because... Hopefully, we'll be... Ooh! Ursary! With any luck, we'll be able to get... To fight a couple of gym trainers and get closer to the leader. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. By the time we have to finish this off, about, about probably about seven minutes. Shut up! Shut up is shit hot! Mine is anyway. In fact, after I've gone and healed up and shit, I'm gonna switch him out to the front. Shit out. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so we heal up, we go to the mart, and then we're straight to the gym. Okay, so we've been and purchased some items, and now we can make it into the gym, which is seems to be lit by candles, which is interesting. Yo, champ in the making, the trainers here use ghost-type Pokemon at will. A ghost is like a shade or a phantom. It won't do any good to use physical strength alone. Don't care, because I know they've not got any of those. I feel like this whole gym is supposed to be, like, in darkness. Apart from these little bits you can see. However, the, the whole ROM is glitching out a little bit. Like, I think you're not, you're not supposed to be able to see the path. You're supposed to have to work out where it is, but... I'm not going to have that issue, thanks to... Uh, Thanks to this emulator being a little bit shit. Medium Robin sends in Matang. We go out with Glaze. Matang is a steel type. We are an ice type. It is super effective against us. We do not risk. I don't have anything that's particularly good against it, but we don't risk that. So we get Mogger out there and go for the... Slow. Magnet Rise. Levitator. Right, so it's now no longer on the floor. Doesn't matter. We're going to go for Surf. Oh, that's alright. Glad to learn Surf. It's useful. A couple more of them. Crit would have been nice there, but never mind. It goes for Metal Claw. I'm going to crit, crit, crit. I'm not. Didn't need to. That's the only reason why we didn't. Otherwise, definitely. Leafeon! Yes, you can take on your brother, Glaceon. And we can see some... Uh, I don't know, what do you call it when you kill a brother? What, it's pa patricide? Fra fratricide? Oh, I don't know. We're going to kill you, though. Leafeon is the ugliest... Eevee evolution of all time. Fine goes Leafy on. Leafy on. Because he's got a Leafy on. Oh my god, Blastoise. And he's sticking for Blastiddle. Oh, he's a monster. Right. Quick attack for you, I reckon. See how that does, and we'll try the Icy Wind again. She's got a Blastoise that knows Bubble, that's sad. Not even Bubble Beam or Water Gun. Oh wait, it knows Water Gun. Surf. Hydro Pump. Lowers its speed, which means we're now faster than it, that's good. Ice Beam is... Good. Perfect. Bite, don't care. One more. Ice wind. Sorry, not ice beam. Icy wind. And that will finish him off. And I think she's still got one more Pokemon after this as well. Glazed up to level 24. Oh, getting some levels in now. Tauros. Uh, we will get in Kenya for you. Swap everybody about a little bit. 
kind of want to get Shatot out there, but I want it to go out for an easy battle, like against a bug type where it's not going to get annihilated. Taurus is normal, so nothing's really the best. So let's go for Ancient Power because it's a powerful move. The suit is a dark type move, but we're not going anywhere, so it don't care. Ancient Power. Ooh, one more of them. Rage. Ah, it's too late for that now. So I'm going to knock you out with this move, and then it's too late to start using Rage. Down he goes. I'm loving the boost of XP. Uh, now Pidgey. Do you know what? Let's get Shatot out of, against Pidgey. I feel like we could have a chance of getting some experience here. It's going to be a high level. Yeah, 16. And it's exerting pressure. And I used Peck, which I didn't even mean to, but never mind. I've used it. And it's quite effective, actually, so that's not too bad. It goes for Gust. Ah, it's more effective because I've got the Beak. I've got a Sharp Beak. Sing doesn't hit. Gust does. If I can sing it now. A couple of pecks. Pidgey's asleep. I know you just told me that, honestly. Right. And then we can peck it to death. An awful way to die, Pidgey. And it wakes What an absolutely pointless sleep that was. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's experience points for our Shatot. 187, but it's a bit of summer. Medium Robin, as opposed to a large Robin. Thanks. And now we can. Uh, I've got to take her on as well, I guess. Yes, no getting around her. And let's see what Medium Tier has got. Kingler! Oh my god, let's get Mogger out there. Let's beat your dad, Mogger. Mogger, it's literally your dad! We're not going to do that though, we're going to quick attack it with uh, Glazed instead. Mudshot, ooh, do I care about that? No, I don't. Lowers my speed though, that's okay. Bubble Beam. Again, not really much of anything doing there. Icy Winner, probably not going to either. I really have a little thing for water at the minute, it's not that I'm particularly weak to it. But I don't have anything really to counteract it. Still a problem. Icy wind. Well, that's good enough. 882 experience. Clefable. <sighs> Just a normal type in this gen. So let's go for... Kenya. And in comes Clefable. And we're going to Magnitude here. Magnitude 7, there we go. Finally getting a decent Magnitude. Good. Minimize. Lowers, uh, sorry, increases its evasiveness, but... Magnitude should just hit anywhere, I think. Like, it's... It's on the floor, so even if it's tiny, it should still hit it. And it sings me to sleep. And what are the chances that I'm going to have a one-turn sleep like that Pidgey did last time? None at all. Metronome. Oh, no, no, no. That could be bad. Hypnosis. I'm already asleep. Flipping heck. Magnitude misses. What I don't want, really, is for it to use another metronome. Because obviously, metronome, it could use literally anything. It could turn into a grass type move, it could turn into a water type move, and it could obliterate me. However, the magnitude's played out, played out well, so we're not looking too bad there. And we get the experience points as well. Kenya is level 25. And down goes Tia. Wah, 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 wah. Ba, 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 ba. Right. One more battle, I think. And I think the next one's the gym leader. I spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, then autumn, and winter. Then spring came again. That's a year. You spent a year with your Pokemon. Just say that. A year. Medium Florentino sent in Chimacho. Chimichimachow. Who I believe is a psychic type Pokemon. As I think we learned from earlier. Or at least it had a psychic type move. It could be anything. It's probably water. It's like everything else I keep coming up against. 
Icy Wind does decent anyway, slows it down, but we're already faster, so I don't really care. Nah, take down. That could be tasty here. Not really. It hits with recoil. We go for another Icy Wind. If it takes down again, it's not going to beat us, but it might knock itself out. So, um... Ah, doesn't need to. Icy Wind gets the high roll. 693 points. Yeah, level 25. Yeah. Depending what's next, we're going to get... Oh, that's what she's got. That's nothing. That's actually nothing. Well, that is... Uh, good. We can see... Oh, I've stepped off the end. That's okay, because I want to go back to the Pokemon Center anyway. Which I'm going to go and do now. So... I'm going to go back to Pokemon Center, heal up, come back to the gym, and then we will start the next episode. Where we're going to take on, what was his name, Morty? Or is that from a different game? Morty! We're going to take on Morty, the Mystic Seer of the future. He'll never see us coming. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time with the next episode. Peace!